Well, well, well. It's been a long time since you guys seen me, huh? Um, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos that's been up lately. Uh, a lot's been going on in my life and uh, the direction I'm t going, taking, trying to. So, but hopefully, I know I've said this many, many times before. Hopefully, this is the start of me actually officially being back to the game I have been playing uh, frequently since I last saw you guys, as usual. But uh, what I would want to do is talk about, of course, the Forbidden List that was just revealed about 20 minutes ago to me and in the world. So uh, you can obviously tell that I kind of got a new camera. Well, a new phone, but I didn't pay for it. It was free, so that's pretty legit. But yeah, so as you can see, this was my old phone, how cracked it is. But... Anyways, let's get down to this. My personal feelings, first reactions. Do, 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 do. Forbidden, none. Okay. Limited, Globe Bulb. Now, I wasn't playing during this format when Globe Bulb was actually relevant and key to a lot of decks. And I did look it up. It's not a cost. So I think it's pretty splashable in a lot of decks. I mean, I play Shadals currently, and I'd probably throw one in because it's pretty good. And if you mill shadow, you get the effect, and then it's a tuner, so it gives you more synchro plays. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I am actually kind of excited to do that. I also think they did um, bring it back because my thought was, oh, Southerns are a deck. Well, Soul Charge is at one, and that takes away a lot of power from them, or a lot of big plays that they had before. So it helps them out. Inferni Archmean. This is obvious because Inferni's won worlds, and that's how it goes. You win worlds, you get hit a lot. They got hit technically one card, but Soul Charge on one actually hurt them a lot as well. So I don't see anyone playing this deck, except for maybe my boy Kevin Almeida, who would like to play Inferni's. Jerk. Anyways, yeah, that's a thing. So I, I just don't see them being played anymore. Like, they're dead, that's it. So... Um, Regeki. Now, a lot of you, like, when you first see it, your first reaction is like, Oh my god, how did they bring back Regeki? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Relax. Because a lot of people didn't play Dark Hole. I actually play Dark Hole. I play it loyally for as long as yu gi has been around. And most times, like, when you play Dark Hole, like, for the people that do, you're using it as a Regeki. So... It's kind of like having two dark holes in a sense. I know it's better, obviously, because, you know, it's Regeki. So, it's just your opponent's monsters. But, I think it's just really another dark hole. That's how I look at it. And, obviously, I'm going to run it. And, I think maybe everybody should run it. If you don't run dark hole, you should probably run Regeki. Because it's guaranteed just your opponent's monsters. You know, it does help out. Um, so, it... And it kind of promotes OTKs, which I don't like because it like clears the board, then you can just go ham. But I mean, Heavy Storm is still banned, so and Feather Duster. Soul Charge, I mentioned briefly. Soul Charge this card, in my opinion, should probably be banned, just because it lets you revive up to five monsters from your graveyard. Yes, the cost is half to get a thousand per monster that hits the board, but it's still just insane like you can win games off of just that one card I remember I was playing a friend of mine Sean in a tournament he was playing Satella Knights and uh, we had a game it was game one it was like a month ago or back or whatever he was playing Satella Knights I was playing Shadows you know and the way the game was working he was top decking and he top decked the Soul Charge and he ended up winning the game because of it and like that shouldn't happen because of one card you know what I mean like stuff like that just sh shouldn't happen now that's I'm one. I'm not actually worried. to I used to, you know, solemn warning, a soul charge, and then you can just activate another one. Now, if you solemn warning soul charge, you know it's gone. Um, super poly to one. This is an interesting card because a lot of people were main decking three of these, and the sh there should all variants because of Patrick Hoban and the YCS Toronto. Was it Toronto? Yeah, it was Toronto. And now everybody was main decking three, which I understand. Um, clearly because, you know, it's a win 
win condition in a sense. Like it's a win more card. You know what I mean? You can attack, attack, and then super poly and all that madness, and it disrupts your opponent's place. You can't chain to it. That's the big thing. You know what I mean? You do have the discarded card, but it it is not a balanced card whatsoever. I mean, only because you can't chain to it. If you could chain to it, then this card's fine at three. You know what I mean? Um, that's it for limited. The only thing out of that that I probably disagree with a lot is I think Vanny's Emptiness should have been up there. I know it's probably getting reprinted now, but Vanny's Emptiness is just a really strong card. Like, it can really, if your opponent doesn't have the out, like, Floodgate, excuse me, Floodgates are a thing. If you don't have the MST or the Twister, the Tornado, or anything like that to get rid of it, you can essentially lose the game because of one card, and I don't think that's a good thing. Ever. Semi-limited. Gale is semi-limited. This actually makes me really happy because I was playing Black Wings, like, as you guys know, a while back. And I was having fun with them, and I do like the deck a lot, and I think eventually, before my Yu-Gi-Oh! competitive career is over, I guess, I will revisit them, and I will try to make them good. I know I can win locals with them, most likely, because, I mean, it's locals, but I don't think they would do anything in tournaments, even though I did was one win away from the invite when I did play them in an event, and that event is where I met my good friend Dan, so shout out to him. Oh no, the camera. the camera. So, yeah, Gale. Sorry about that. Gale to two is pretty cool. Gores to two. Um, there was rumors about this, like, last list and the list before because OCG kind of did something similar. And I understand because a lot of people, like, it's a heavy back row format for most of the decks. And Gores isn't as big a threat as it used to be, but it can catch you really off guard. Um... If you're not prepared for it and somebody drops a Gores on you, I'm actually testing a Gores in my Shadal all build. And it has worked pretty well. Um, I don't run that much uh, back row in the, my Shadal all deck, and all the back rows chainable. So it is always live. Um, Ceasefire to 2. Um, this is actually an underrated card, I believe. I actually didn't have one, but if I was going to events, I would probably be signing at least one or two for... Shadals for yeah pretty much Shadals because even like let's say I do all my thing then I flip ceasefire and it, their flip effect is dead you know what I mean I can just attack it and get over it so I do think it's a good card and I actually think it's better than um like no one to cross out in a sense only because like they take the damage you know what I mean like if they no one to cross out and then you they flip shadow games like that's you know, it sucks for you, you know what I mean? But if they flip Shadow Games and you flip Ceasefire, that's pretty good, you know what I mean? So that's just my opinion. Uh, Transmigration of Power Proceed at 2. That's interesting. I mean, it's a really good side deck card. I honestly, I think I have one, and I do side it. And if I had two, I'd probably side two because it hurts Satellanites. And for the fact that, like, if they have the Denebs and everything in the graveyard and they have Altair and they use Altair's effect, obviously you shuffle back the targets. And so it's almost like a trap version of DD Crow in a sense. And that's that's good. Because you, yes, I do side DD Crow or whatever, but if they have Deep Fissure out, you can't use DD Crow. So therefore, Chinese Migration Prophecy is key. You know what I mean? They, I believe a lot of them cited for the Mirror Match. Uh, no longer on the list. Wolf Bark. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Joe Bogues. Because I know he is happy right now. We just texted a few minutes ago. I know you happy. Because he is the plus one Firefist man. And I know that... If you don't think Firefist is a problem right now, like, since both Barks have three, you're insane. Honestly, I think that deck is really viable right now. And... You know, it's it's something if you want to play it to check it out. You know what I mean? Like the plus one build is definitely live, and it's it's kind of like Satel Knights in a sense. Like you know what I mean? But I would, if you have the deck assembled and you're looking for something to play, and you like to play in Fire Fist, I would play it. 
You know what I mean? I'm not going to play it because I'm pretty content with Shadows, but that's a different story. Visions of Faith of 3, this was kind of obvious, I figured. Because they kept going from 0 to 1 to 2 and now to 3. Magician of Faith isn't going to do anything. Um, the whole combo with, you know, um, Tsukiyomi, that was a thing back in the day, but that's because we had Pot of Greed, Crystal Charity, Didn't like would do all those. You know what I mean? So, it doesn't matter. Promo Synchro on a 3. This is interesting. This pushes a lot of Synchro decks. Uh, shout out to my boy Avi because he, I know for a fact, is hyped. Because he was playing plants, he told me before, and I wasn't playing around then. But he is going to relive that glory days real good. Reinforcements to Army to 3. This was, I think, because Soul Charges I won. So they wanted to still push the Tal Knights and Gnome Knights with the whole thing coming out. So, interesting. I like it. So, yeah. I mean, really, the only thing I disagree with is probably... The whole Vinny Simness thing should have been on here. Um, I would have preferred Soul Charge Ban, but I'll take it at one. And yeah, everything else, like, it's not, not much. I think Cold Soldier Wolf Part 3 was a little ridiculous, but I mean, it is what it is. Have fun playing Fire Fist, you know what I mean? I'm sure that format will happen again. But, you know, the I still think, you know, Burning Abyss, Shadows, um, so Talon Knights are still three really good decks and maybe the top decks still. But I think Firefist should get honorable mention and maybe even work its way up to there. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully, don't quote me, this will be the start of the comeback. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm the one anti-hero. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.